What's up guys, Renaissance here. Welcome back to the channel. We have just defeated the Grave Lord Nito. We've smashed him into oblivion. And as you can see, we're using some new stuff here, guys. We got the Mask of the Mother Golem Armor, Stone Gauntlets and the Golem Leggings with the Dragon Tooth. Yes, the awesome, awesome Dragon Tooth. Um, so I actually reloaded the area. And the reason I reloaded the area is because there is some items right here we can get. And that would be Paladin Leroy's gear. Armor of Leroy, Paladin of the Catacombs. Long ago, the Way of White produced its first undead. A paladin in golden armor. With the legendary treasures Grant and Sanctus, Leroy set out for Lordron, Land of the Gods, in the first undead mission of the Way of White. So Leroy... That's interesting. So Leroy was actually the first paladin. You can see Nito's empty tomb there. Um, he was the first paladin to go to represent the Way of White and search for Kindling. Um, and if you recall from reading the description for Kindling, um, or the Rite of Kindling, I guess you could say, that was basically because of uh, the, the Rite of Kindling was for adherents of the Way of White. It was their task, basically, to to find that and to harness that power. And so you may be wondering where we're going. There's actually some items, well, kind of items, items that I missed um, in an earlier episode. Not really missed so much as just totally forgot about. Um, so if you recall, we uh, when we fought the four kings of New Londo, if you recall, we summoned uh, Witch Beatrice with us, right? Well, as it turns out, I forgot that once you summon Witch Beatrice, am I going here and fight those bosses there's actually yeah there we go some items that pop up over here so let's go check these out glad I remembered to do this the witch set with Beatrice's catalyst so let's check that out Cloak of the Rogue Witch Beatrice. Almost all magic users that employ catalysts studied at Dragon School, but Beatrice is one of the few exceptions. She braved the abyss, but did not live to tell the tale of her ordeal. She braved the abyss, but did not live to tell the tale of her ordeal. Interesting. So why... I mean, we've been summoning her pretty consistently. Catalyst belonging to Beatrice, the rogue witch. Contrast with Vinheim Catalyst. This ancient catalyst shows signs of being used for age-old sorceries. It has passed the hands of many generations to get here. <clears throat> Very interesting. Alright, so our next area that we're actually going to traverse is an area that... I don't do a lot of the times in, in my playthrough, um, but we're going to check it out anyway. There's actually, eh, you know what, we may, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. So we're going to go to the, uh, what would be quicker? In Orlando, maybe? Probably Dark Moon Tomb. I'm gonna go to the Dark Moon Tomb bonfire. So the area we're going to is, like I said, it's not an area that I have done a lot of. Um, it's been a little while since I've done it. 
we actually want to tune magic. We want, what do we want here? Probably like fire orb. Combustion, maybe? I don't know. Old Dragon Tooth. The weapon of Havel the Rock. And I mean we're we're a poised tank right now too, so that's helpful. Actually wanna go ahead and probably equip this. Cause we will be using it. And we'll probably put it right here actually. Just so we can block. So, and I'll, I'll read the item description when we get there, but if you remember, uh, I don't know, like eight, nine, ten episodes ago, something like that, we, um, we found an interesting item at the, the prison, the undead prison, um, where we had started the game. You recall we went back to that area after previously leaving it. Yeah, I got a poise build that will tank you guys for ages. Um, but yeah, we, we went back to the area where we originally started, the Undead Asylum, um, and we found an item there called the Peculiar Doll. And I told you guys, you know, we'll revisit that at a later date. Well, now is the date. <laughs> Now's the time to revisit it. So where are we here? Uh, peculiar doll, peculiar doll. Where are you? You're probably in key items, right? A strange doll in strange dress. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. So if you recall when we were traversing Anne Orlando, um, as we see Guinevere looking over, um, I mentioned, of course, these guys are called painting guardians, right? So they're guarding this painting. You see this bridge, looks like it's covered in snow. Well then, I love that sound effect. Ding, ding. The painted world of Ariamis. It's such cool, like it's so cool. Like right when you first come in there, because it's one, it's it's the image on the painting, right? Don't drop down there, by the way. Um, and, as if that didn't need to be said. And two, this is kind of the first like I don't want to say like natural environment type place that we've been to, but it kind of is. Um, if you think about Undead Burg as a city. Um, well, I don't know. Do you think Dark Root Garden, Dark Root Basin? I don't know. I just, I just love the way this area looks with the natural snow and everything, and the trees covered in snow, and the um, impaled uh, undead just chilling here. Maybe, hopefully, impaled hollows and not impaled humans. Hello, bonfire, my old friend. We actually probably want to kindle this bad boy a couple times because this is pretty much the only bonfire here. And by pretty much, I mean it's the only bonfire here. Let's do it one more time. Forgot we had to reverse our hollowing here. 
I did farm a good bit off camera, guys. I farmed mainly for Titanite chunks, um, farming the uh, the Dark Race. Um, that's pretty much the best place to farm for Titanite chunks, and it's the only place to farm for Titanite slabs. So. One more. Sorry, this is taking so long, guys. We want 20. Like I said, this is the only bonfire here, so. And it'll probably take us two episodes to do this whole area, if I had to guess. Um, we're going to put a bow. Right, y'all? Uh, not the composite bow, though. Hello city baby. So going forward here, we know that this door is not gonna open, right? It never would open that easily. How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I? You know what? <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> so we're going to go in the left hand. We're going to go Pyro Glove. And in the right hand, we're going to go Bow. I mean, I was like losing my mind there trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. But this is the reason why right here. Oh, my aim. All right, well, weird funky hitbox there. Some humanities. So as we enter this city, first of all, you can hear something, right? You can hear something walking around. So, so far in the game, we've encountered two types of hollows. We've encountered normal hollows and torch hollows. Normal hollow here. No big deal. Easy kills. Proceeding up here, we should encounter a new type. Oh, thanks for the short bow, bro. Where are y'all at? You can see the crow lady waiting up there. You see all these items. We will get to all the items, I promise. Crow's over there. I wonder if I can hit y'all. Dang, 61 damage too, not bad. Wow. I've never done that before. What a freak of nature this chick is. Boing. Boing. Interesting. Just like straight up crow heads. They're basically harpies. In case you couldn't tell. Soul of a proud knight. Again, you see all kinds of enemies. There's our new enemy. Oh, hello. This is Crow City down here, I swear. Alright, well. <laughs> See you later. There we go. So, new new enemy here. I can't tell what he's going to do. Damn. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. So, yes, these are a new type of enemy. Um, they will toxic you if you kill them. However, there's a way to avoid that. 
Thanks for the souvenir, bro. Um, you can actually shoot them or attack them with fire. If you kill them with fire, they will not toxic you. Now, the flip side of that is they actually are pyromancers themselves. As you can see. However, see if we kill them, they don't explode in a cloud of death and toxins. Really? This dude is the archer of the century. We'll go over there. We'll check it out. What are these sounds down here? How about big ass white rat? <laughs> that apparently we cannot hit. <laughs> That'll do it. They're guarding a soul item down here. These guys are uh, capable of dropping humanities at a pretty decent rate too, I would say. Oh man, <laughs> so close. Ah, we're not gonna worry about it. That's the guy shooting arrows at us, by the way. All right, so here. If I could miss epically, it's a little item for us. And we will be able to get that at a later date. You can see a, a nice little area down there. We will get there, I promise. Now, this place is filled with these guys, so... I'll be very careful. He says as he gets <laughs> knifed in the back by one. <laughs> like I said, this is an area that I've not been to in a while, so I don't really remember all the nuances of it. Probably didn't pick the right weapon to use for this area. But you know what? We're going to change that right now to a much quicker weapon, we'll say. How about an S dot? <laughs> I love me an S dot. Attack behind your shield. Be a big baby. Stop shooting arrows at me! Let's try combustion. Combustion's probably a lot better. Yeah, much nicer. Sorry, you're invisible. Stop moving. 
Like I said, this room is just filled with these guys. You see the toxic mist cloud they're giving off there. Finally. Lord. Nice little ambush here. You can see this is where we knock that hollow down. Future ambush there. This is a very vertical area. And we haven't really found any lore yet on the Painted World, but we'll, we'll get there. I promise we will get there. Got plenty of soul items, that's for sure. We already knew you were here. Trying to be all sneaky like. <laughs> so we can hear all these rats. Hey. The Painting Guardian set. I love this set. Robe worn by the alabaster clothed guardians of the paintings in Anor Londo. Substantial protection versus magic. They have guarded the great paintings of Ariamas for ages, passing their duty down through generations. But the reason for doing so passed from all memory long ago. So we that's kind of like our mission critical here, right? Is to discover not only what these guys are guarding, but <coughs> why they're guarding what they're guarding. I'm not crazy, right? Let me make sure. Okay. I'm not crazy. So like I said, guys, this, this area is just kind of a slog just because I haven't done it in a while. The whole area itself is not very big. Um, the Painted World of Ariamis. It's really not. There's not a lot going on here, to be honest with you. But I do want to make sure I, I cover all the area, at least. Egg vermifuge. I think that's our first egg vermifuge, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it is a consumable item. Bitter sour chestnut removes parasitic egg from body. The egg bearers have chosen to serve the flame of chaos and the eggs symbolize this selfless choice. Naturally, these chestnuts are forbidden, but are allowed under special circumstances. Flame of chaos, so it's like, why are you here? Why is this chestnut here? The world may never know. Alright, so this is actually the way forward, so we don't want to go that way just yet. actually a little bit more exploring that we need to do so first we're gonna try to do this don't know if we'll be able to but I think you just gotta roll ah didn't quite make it so sadly, this is just the um, where we were just at with the rats. You can see this is really Rat City. y'all garden <laughs> I 
my, my rapier, it just won't quite do the trick. Another gold coin. You recall we found some of those in Anne Orlando. In the mimic chests. I just love the atmosphere, man. All the blood spattered on all the walls. This, this area. I, you know, I don't do it very much, but I still respect it. It really is a great area. an item in the distance there. Really want to try to get that, but let's see. Ah, I also don't want to waste a lot of time. So I probably will stop trying to get it. Oh, the phalanx in the distance. Alright, we're going to avoid that for right now. And proceed. So again, a couple different ways you can go here. You may notice this guy down here. We'll go chat with him. I don't think we can get to that this way, but it's worth a try. Fall back down into our little chapel here. This is an area, guys, where it's just basically you got to explore, right? <laughs> There's a lot of going back and forth, and that's fine, but that is part of it. All right, so we've traversed that. Don't want to go down there just quite yet. thought yeah there is an item right there now you gotta be very careful walking up here because these guys are all over the place very interesting item up here the red sign stope sign oh that's no good <laughs> Wow, I've rapiered myself right off the edge there. Feels bad, man. I don't really want to fight all these guys again, to be honest with you. So I probably won't. Well, this just kind of goes to show you there is a quick way to get from point A to point B here. And hopefully they don't chase me. Try this again, shall we?
Alright, we're gonna leave you right there. Because I want my souls back. Okay, well this guy's broken apparently. So we're not even gonna worry with him right now. What we are gonna do is come over here and get this soul item. Now I know you see that item over there and you think, man, I know I could grab that from here. But you really can't. And I wouldn't recommend trying to. You can, however, jump down here. However, as you can see, that door is in fact locked. The main reason I'm doing this is just to unlock a shortcut. So we're going to traverse the white light there. And hey, it's the phalanx. Which we don't actually care about just yet. We're actually going over here open this door which luckily for us is a shortcut to our bonfire <laughs> so that's why I ran over here guys was just open that now we will explore this this whole area um, one thing about the phalanx really um, if you just stay around the sides of them, they're not that hard to deal with. Um, another thing to take note of, the phalanx is the single best farming area in the game. Um, and I will demonstrate how to farm them at a later date, probably towards the end of the uh, playthrough. But effectively what you do is not what I'm doing. Um, you want to get a spell that does a lot of AOE damage because when they're in their little phalanx form, phalanx form or whatever, they, they're all clustered together, right? They're all in a big circle. So the best way to farm them, the quickest way, is to use that AOE spell, preferably Chaos Storm. Um, and you use that AOE spell to effectively kill them all in one go, right? Just snuff them all out right off the rip. That's the best way to do it. Um, of course, with your, your covetous silver serpent ring on. Um, I don't remember the amount of souls you get, but you get a lot. Uh, enough to be a very viable farming strategy. Um, the other thing to note is in, in Dark Souls, if I haven't mentioned it before, um, which I may not have, so you actually get a what's called an overkill bonus and an overkill bonus is yeah you saw that <laughs> wing drop off there an overkill bonus means oh did we wake him up oh we did interesting an overkill bonus means you are doing like a hundred and twenty percent of the enemy's max HP in one hit so if you do that in one hit, you will actually get a substantial amount more souls um, than you normally would. You know, I'm just gonna get right here. Yeah, so this is a dragon, an ancient dragon. Um, very easy to kill with a bow and arrow. You just literally can just post up right here. And even if you don't have a bow and arrow, He's really not that hard to kill. You can just kind of run into his chest there. Um, you just gotta watch out for his jaw, obviously. There you go, he's dead. I'm 
when he dies, you'll get a dragon scale, very useful, and a blood shield. Where is it? Spoken of in the Lost Legends, the red of blood is slightly enchanted and boosts various resistances. So you'll notice this is actually uh, moving. It is dead. Um, another interesting thing that I'm not going to do, you can actually skip the whole rest of this area and go fight your boss right now if you just jump off the ledge right there. I'm not going to do that because that's no fun, but just note that it can be done. We are going to actually go down here. Into where we killed all of our phalanxes. And we'll just kind of poke around a little bit here. Some humanity. Yeah, that is actually where we shot the uh, corpse off. That's the corpse from where we shot off, off of that side area right there. Ring of Sacrifice. Um, now, you will notice this well with a ladder. Um, we will go into that area, um, just not quite yet. Not in this episode. Um, similarly, uh, we can do a little bit exploring right here, actually. I see you around the corner. Worst ambush of all time. Right, you know what? <laughs> you you're not worth it, friend. I think we actually can get to that now that I'm thinking about it. Again, that goes into the well area, so we're not gonna do that just yet. Large leather shield that was dropped by the phalanx. Uh, not gonna go down there just yet. Will, however, come in here. Oh yeah, we do not have the key. Disregard. All right, so that may be it for this episode then, guys. Trying to think of what else I can do that won't take too long, but eh, that's probably going to be it. I may try to go grab that item that I couldn't get, couldn't quite reach. Just because it's annoying me. Uh, yeah, we don't want to fight all you. Well, maybe we do. Move! <laughs> If you're wondering why I came up here, it's because I think I may. Yeah, I was going to say, I might not be able to jump to it, but I can definitely jump down to it. Some twin humanities. Alright, that's probably going to do it for this episode, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button for me. And we'll see you next time. Bye.